hey Dave, have you got a second we can talk about this label? What are you doing? Are you playing with army men? No, I, I know they look like army men, but they're actually bacteria. Bacteria? Yeah. Well, okay, they're not actually bacteria, but they represent bacteria. Well, except the tanks and the buildings, those just represent dirt. I think you've been in the lab a little too long smelling chemicals. Well, maybe. But, you know, Jack wanted us to talk about the difference between cleaning and sanitizing and disinfecting for the Odo Show, so I figured this would be a good way to show it. Oh, okay. I think I know where you're going with this then. So what you're saying is, is that when you clean, you get rid of the buildings and the tanks, which is the dirt, right? Right. Cleaning is just getting rid of soil. Things like dirt and grease. But it doesn't do anything for the army men. I mean, the bacteria. Right. If you're going to talk about getting rid of bacteria, that's when you get into sanitizing and disinfecting. Okay, so what's the difference between sanitizing and disinfecting, and how do you get to that point? Ah, there, believe it or not, there are legally defined differences between sanitizing and disinfecting, and it's all about how many bacteria you're killing on the surface. Sanitizing is killing 99.9% .9 of the bacteria, which is called a three-log kill legally. So what you've got now is a surface where you've eliminated almost all the bacteria. Okay, but you still have a few bacteria on there, correct? Well, yeah, there's still a few left, but it's a whole lot less than it used to be. A surface like this, a sanitized surface, is perfect for household things like food preparation, kitchen counters, bathroom surfaces, all of that sort of thing. But now if you want to talk about the ultimate, you're talking disinfecting. Disinfecting kills 99.99% .99 of bacteria. That's a six log reduction. And you're left with a surface that has almost no bacteria on it at all. It's as safe as it can be. I like safe, but how do you get from sanitizing all the way to disinfecting? Well, with most of the chemicals on the market these days, it's all about how long you let it sit on the surface wet before you clean it. They call it dwell time. So any product that you're buying that does sanitizing or disinfecting has to tell you on the label how to use the product to get to that point. Well, I think that you've answered all of our questions for us today, um, but I do have one left. Okay, shoot. Who are you going to get to help you pick up all of your toys? One, two, three. Thanks for watching this episode of The Edo Show on YouTube. And if you like what you saw, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell button so that you always have a notification of when we're on. We're kicking out great cleaning content all the time. So until next time, make, make life fresh. fresh.